Hi there, this is David, and welcome to Let's Play Legend of Heroes Song of the Ocean. This is the final game of the Gag Harp trilogy, originally released in Japan for the Windows system in 1999, and then later ported to the uh, PSP in 2006. This game takes place in the land of, well, Luna, which is yet another continent kind of split by the Gag Harp. So this is part of the Gag Harp trilogy of Tier of Vermilion, Prophecy of the Moonlight Witch, and finally, Song of the Ocean. However, the game, there are some timeline issues that I do want to go over. This game takes place seven years after uh, Tier of Vermilion and 49 years before Prophecy of the Moonlight Witch. So, just to kind of make that really easy for you, the timeline in game goes Tier of Vermilion, then Song of the Ocean, then Prophecy of the Moonlight Witch. But that being said, you don't want to play the games in that order. You want to play the games in the original Japanese release order. Not the American release order, because, you know, America screwed it up. Yeah, go us. So anyway, that means that you want to play it in the order of Prophecy of the Moonlight Witch, then Tear of Vermilion, then Song of the Ocean. And the reason why you want to do that is because there are actually some bonuses that you can get in this game by playing those other games first. Um, I don't really want to spoil what those bonuses are, but just keep in mind that you do want saved complete data for Tear of Vermilion and Prophecy of the Moonlight Witch to fully and thoroughly enjoy this game. And thankfully, I've played those previous two games, so I have that saved clear data so I will be able to, um, to do that. So yeah, this will be a full, complete Let's Play of Song of the Ocean, and believe me, there are a lot of things to do and see in this game, and the guides that I have found have not been exactly full and complete. So I've gone through, I've scoured message boards, I've done some due diligence, and I've I pretty much got it going where I have everything um, written down in a way that I can get it all and I know uh, exactly what to do. If I'm missing out on anything though, hey, let me know in the comments. Please tell me. I want to make this Let's Play as complete as humanly possible. So come and join me for Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Chapter 3 which is really chapter five, Song of the Ocean. Yeah. Whenever I say chapter five, that's because, you know, Dragon Slayer and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. But before I start this, I'm going to make a little tiny cut right here because that's the American opening, but there is also a Japanese anime opening. And I want to show that real quick. the American version. That's such a better opening! Uh, yeah. Okay, so you're the gag harp. That's the calendar. We don't use the Septian calendar. 
like they do in the Sky games and Zemuria, we use the Gag Harp calendar, which is time um, measured by when the land was split by the Gag Harp, which is essentially some huge cliff or crevice in the earth that no one can actually get past. And apparently there's like whirlpools in the sea and stuff, so you can't really sail around it either. So yeah, you're kind of stuck in the land that you're in. Wow, you kind of suck. Yeah, I agree. You are an amateur. <laughs> oh, this poor kid. Well, your playing isn't helping, Fort. Is it Fort or Forte? Probably Forte. I'm gonna go with Forte. Uh, yeah, you do. Wow. Um, you would think that, you know, McBain here would be a little bit more mature than name-calling like you're in middle school. But how old is Forte supposed to be? Yikes. Maybe this girl can talk some sense into that. Hopefully. Oh, well, I think he's blaming you for your lack of musicality rather than your lack of fishing skills. Oh, I guess so. Oh, and who's Jam? Oh, it's a puppy! I love little puppies! Oh. Processing? Processing fish? Um, okay, we're kind of trying to catch you dinner or something. Grandpa Mac? I thought his name was McBain. How many names does this guy have? And isn't Grandpa Mac from Final Fantasy Mystic Quest? Eh, that's neither here nor there. Shao. Who's Shao? Well, he's much more polite to this kid than he is to his own grandson, I guess. Okay, is it just me, or does Forte's eyes look like little dollar signs? Like, they really do. They look like dollar signs to me. Not in the actual artistic portrait, but in the sprite. Oh, an accordion player. Yeah, he is weird, and he's calling you Maestro Dearest? Um, that's odd. <laughs> oh. The fish aren't gonna bite with the cacophony yonder? Wow, game. Wow. <laughs> if you don't know, a cacophony is, like, a lot of noise, but yeah, I don't really think that he used it correctly, but sure. <laughs> that's a, that's a strange, and that's just, just a taste, just a small taste of the translation greatness that we're going to get in this game. However, I must say, the translation in this game is leaps and beyond better than the translation in Vermilion or Moonlight Witch, but it's still questionable. Ah. Okay. Oh, a book. Huh, what kind of book? Oh, a book to go on the tour of Graysel? Like a tourist guide? Like a Lonely Planet book or something? The Water Melody? Oh, it's like a song book, I guess. Huh. Oh, if you say so. I've never heard of it. Oh, lost ancient people of the Water Tribe? They get a variety of powers by playing musical melodies. Reminds me of Lunar. I really like Lunar. Okay, and then right here, there's 24 basic phrases associated with different powers, and then it goes on to list every single freaking power, I guess. Yeah, these are essentially the magics of the game right here. As it just goes on 
Yeah, if you really want to read all the little 24 themes or phrases or whatever, have at it. I really don't care. But yeah, basically, if you're able to gather all of those melodies, and then you use them as one, you can acquire the Lost Melody, which is incredibly powerful enough to save the world! Yeah, there is no imminent destruction right now, but sure, why not? Let's save it anyway. It's a JRPG, after all. We have to save the world. Ah. Oh. Huh. Oh, so you want to hear the lost melody. Oh. Huh. And you found the lost melody? Really? Wow. Huh, so did you already save the world since you created the water melody? Oh. Then you destroyed the water melody? Because evil people might get their hands on it! Yeah. So basically, he had the water melody, then he took away the water melody, or he, um, basically... Uh, deconstructed it note by note and then inscribed every single note or phrase onto something called a resonant stone, and then hid them into obscure places all over the world. So nobody can get their hands on it. But then he created a magic map so that everybody can find said resonant stones. Sounds like a great plan. Huh, Richter. Really? So... Shao sent McBain the water melody along with the magic map. Huh. I guess Shao thinks that the world is in danger and that McBain needs to go and rescue it or something. Now what's going on? Oh. You're in love? Yeah, nothing gets by Grandma. Moms are tough! That's a different game. <laughs> Yeah, it seems that way. But do you love him, or do you only like him? You just said that you're fond of him. Now you love him? That's quite the leap. Oh. Oh. Well, then maybe you're actually too young to really be in love with him if you're embarrassed about telling him that you love him in front of other people. Just a thought. How old is Una supposed to be anyway? I do actually have a hard copy of this with the instruction manual. I think I'll go and look at that, because a lot of the times these JRPGs, they give like weird information about their characters, such as their names. Sometimes even like their blood type. I don't know what that's about, but I've seen it before in the structure manuals. It's just odd. Oh, yeah, the world's your oyster. Go out there and find those resident stones. Even though you're retired, and you've been retired for ten years, so you're probably like 75 years old. But sure, whatever. Oh, you have a recital in Pinzel. Don't play the trumpet. You suck at the trumpet. We've heard it. It was awful. <laughs> wow. Such a supportive grandpa. Man. He's like, I really don't care about your problems. Shut up. Go to sleep. Huh. I guess Grandpa McVeigh's in... No rush to save the world. And Forte's in no rush to actually get better at his trumpet. Um, yeah, he just told you that the other night whenever you told him to shut up. Hopefully not the trumpet, please! Anything but the trumpet! Play the Kithara. Kithara? Kithara? I don't know. I'm gonna go with Kithara, I think. Yes, please, thank you, thank you, thank you! Yeah, 
Yeah, I agree with Methane. It can't get any worse than that trumpet. Oh, okay. Practice? Practice what? Your instrument too? But you already retired! Oh, and he's taking this little dog too. I don't know. Um, it's fine, I guess. What does she care? Yeah, I agree. Okay, so yeah, we can go ahead and move around now. One thing that I am going to go ahead and do real quick is change the controller type from A over to B. You definitely want controller type B because um, it just makes things easier. It moves the cancel button to a better place and everything, and I, it's just more traditional for me. So definitely do that and message speed onto fast. And yeah, let's go exploring. We have a bit of time exploring this little dump of a village. What's going on here? Oh, okay. So you make your living by uh, processing dye from shellfish. Huh. I guess you could also, you know, catch a lot of fish and sell those too. Oh, Grandma passed away five years ago. Yeah, I'm sure he uh, gets along with him fine. Oh. So they really can't fish all that much. Yeah, so what we're actually in right now is a wrecked boat. They've kind of taken a wrecked boat and they've turned it into their living quarters, their village. Oh, okay. So we need to go and deliver this die to Kranka and uh, that will help the village get some money or something. Um, no, it's Una's turn. Wow, this Kel kid, he had the little dollar signs in his eyes, too. I don't know if this village can really afford to hire people to make dye deliveries just because you're too lazy to do it yourself, Kel. I mean, that's what I'm here for. I have green hair. And blue-haired parents. Of course I'm the hero. Um, yeah... Oh. I wonder what she's so worried about. The, the guy's gonna be fine. She's like totally freaked out about this. So what? Well, what exactly is going on here? What's your guys' problem? Oh, he's going to go on a trip. Oh, Rahaha <laughs> Healy! Oh, he's 62. So he retired at 47? See, I can do math. I was a teacher. I think I'm right. <laughs> oh, oh, well, we don't want that. You'd feel safer if you went up into the mountains to fight some monsters? Really? I don't think that that would be safe at all, just saying. Oh, yeah, reverse psychology and all that kind of stuff. Hey, uh, what is it? Oh, what's going on? Oh, you want me to find out about it? Why me? Oh, man, everything falls on my shoulders. Come on now. Uh, I guess. Sure. An old fox? Um... I don't know if I'd call my father an old fox, but yeah, whatever. There's monsters around the lighthouse, too! Oh no! Yikes! But what is McBain planning? Find out next time on the continuation of Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Song of the Ocean. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.